Hello. In this video, we want to look at how to form new equation, that is, new quadratic equation from the given one. Let's go straight to the to the question. The question says, if alpha and beta are roots of the equation. 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0. Obtain the equation whose roots whose roots roots are 1 over after squared and 1 over beta square good now this is another interesting uh, question which is coming from uh, quadratic equations you know in our previous videos we discussed how to form quadratic uh, equations using the roots but this time around now those roots have been given as alpha and beta and the roots in question here is for this particular equation so how do we now obtain another equation using this root from the existing equation. Okay, now let's try to solve that. Let's try to find that. Uh, we may need to keep this somewhere. So 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 equals 0, okay. And um, that's the equation given. I want to find 1 over alpha squared and 1 over beta squared okay i think that is what you are given all right now we can clean the, this board now clean the board now first of all let us represent the given equation using alpha beta you know that if alpha beta as according to the statement are given alpha plus beta the sum the sum of the equation will be minus b over a why the product alpha beta will be c over a that's the standard result now from from 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 is equal to 0 using a x squared plus b x plus c equals to 0 you observe that let's say comma if you compare this with this Taking the coefficient of x squared, you have a is equal to 2. So a is 2. Uh -huh. Taking the coefficient of x here is plus b. Here it is minus 7. b is minus 7. Taking the coefficient of constant c, c is minus 3. Okay. Now, if now from let's say from this one, or let's say, okay, we call this one equation 1, let's call it 2. Okay. Now, substituting uh, for, uh, let's say, substituting an equation, okay, 1, you know, alpha plus beta will be minus, our B is minus 7, minus 7 all over A, our A is 2. So this will be what? 7 over 2, because minus as minus is plus. Now, substituting as well, substituting in substituting, sorry, in equation two, mm -hmm. alpha beta is what? C over A. Is it C over A? And what is our C? Minus three. What is our A? Two. So we have gotten alpha beta to be minus three over two. And alpha plus beta. So let's let's note that alpha plus beta is seven over two. Alpha beta is minus three over two. Good. Now having gotten this, the next thing for us now is to use the given uh, now, with the given with the new so with the new roots. What are the new roots? Alpha and alpha, uh, one over alpha squared, and oh, let me write it here one over alpha squared 
and 1 over beta square. We shall find a new quadratic equation. We want to find a new quadratic equation from the given root. So how do we do that? Fine. Using the same approach, using the same approach, sum of the roots, sum of the roots, we find sum of the roots, 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. Yes, that's when you had the new root together. So the SM is alpha squared beta squared. So I find alpha, alpha squared beta squared. We are left with beta squared plus beta squared in this cancel is we are left with alpha squared times one alpha squared. So if you if you like you can rewrite and write alpha squared plus beta squared all over alpha squared or write alpha beta all squared. Yes. You can you can you can write this before this since the they are commutative. That is, addition is commutative. So you can interchange them. It's, it's okay. It should be correct. Okay, now that means that that means that we need to get what alpha square plus beta square stands for. Recall, let me show us. Alpha plus beta squared. Let me call this equation three so that when we give reference to it, it's easy. Is equal to when you expand this. Just have alpha squared. I taught you when you are expanding things like this, square of this, then alpha times beta times two. That is plus plus two alpha beta, then plus because you have plus beta left, beta square. That's the expansion of this. Instead of going through the process of writing it one by one like this, which will take your time. So anytime you want to expand square, just you know. Take this as alpha squared, then plus, multiply this alpha and this plus beta by two. That will be two alpha beta. Then you find the square of the last uh, uh, value here, which is plus. That's just that. So, and what we are looking for is alpha squared plus beta squared. So how do we now get that? It has come out from this equation. Yes. So that means alpha plus beta all squared. If you bring this here, two alpha beta, we be left with what? alpha square plus beta square. You can see that we are left with what we are looking for. Yes. So that means that means that we have changed alpha square plus beta square as this now. Now, the, therefore, equation three now becomes now becomes equation three now becomes. Okay, which now really becomes what? Well, let's go there. Instead of alpha squared plus beta squared, what do we have now? We have alpha plus beta all squared minus two alpha beta all over alpha beta all squared. Yes, that is what equation three now becomes because we have gotten the value of uh, alpha squared plus beta squared as this. So instead of writing that now, we now replace it like this. Okay, so which if we interpret it with respect to the value of alpha plus beta well, that we got, alpha plus beta was seven over two is seven over two squared, then minus two alpha beta, that's minus three over two. Then all over alpha beta squared, that's minus three over two all squared. Hope you get that. Fine. We we'll just fix those values there. Now, the next is, the next is, let's expand, expand therefore, now what we are actually looking for here is what? Alpha plus beta. Are we, are we together? Which was as a result of, I mean, sum of the root is what gave us, gave us this. Are we, are we following? Sum of the root gave us this, okay? Now, let's, let's write it clearly. The roots given are, therefore, 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. I uh -huh. hope we can see. Good. It is now equal to 7 squared is 49. All over 2 squared is 4. Then minus 2 times minus 3. That's what? Plus 6 over 2. That's what? 
plus 3 over 1, the all over. The minus 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4. So let's find the SM of this first. SM is 4, that's 49, because 4 in 4 is 1. 1 times 49 is 49, plus 1 in 4 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So that will give us what? 61 over 4. Good. Now, you know we have, you see, we have denominator. We have denominator. Okay. We have denominator. Number 4. Which implies 61 over 4 divided by 9 over 4. Is what? 61 over 4 times 4 over 9. This cancels this. We have what? 61 over 9. We have 61 over 9. 4. The sum of the roots. Now, what about the product? Now, the, now the product, the product of one over alpha plus sorry, one over alpha and one over beta squared is one over alpha squared times one over beta squared. Okay, that times one is one over alpha squared beta squared. Okay, now you know we can write alpha squared beta squared as this. That is. 1 over alpha beta, putting everything in square. Yes, it's the same thing. Now, which is going to be 1 over... Our alpha beta was gotten to what? Minus 3 over 2. So which implies that we have 1 over 1 divided by minus 3 over 2. Okay? Okay, let's... Let me write our value for summation. 61 over 4 is what we got. Now... What follows? You now have what? And that will be what? 1 over 1 times 2 over 3. Remember, it's minus. The minus 3 here. So, minus will see be there. Minus 2 all over 3. So, that means the product of the roots is minus 2 all over 3. Now, having done that, now using... Okay, let me write. Let me clean that. The product is minus 2 over 3. So... I hope that is taking. I hope that is taking. Beautiful. Now, using okay, x squared minus sum of the roots, sum of the roots multiplied by x, then plus product of the roots, product equals to zero. Okay, that means we have x squared minus sum of the roots we got was sixty one over four x. Plus the product of the row we got was minus 2 over 3. So plus times minus we got minus. So you remove plus there. You have minus. Is equal to 0. So tiny the SM here. Our SM is 12, 4 times 3. So you know if this one is like over 1. S square, S square is uh, S square over 1. So if you put 1 here, 1 in 12 is 12. 12 times S square, 12 S squared minus 4 in 12. That's 3. 3 times 61, that's 183x, the minus 2 in 12, that is what? That is 6. 6 times 2, that's 12, is equals to, sorry, 3 in 12 is 4. 4 times, sorry about that. 3 in 12 is 4. 4 times 2, 8, sorry, equals to 0. How that is taken? So because we have the SCM and we have implicated the numerator to, to 0, so we forget about that. So therefore, we have 12 s squared minus y is 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. So this is the new equations, which are formed from 1 over alpha squared and uh, 1 over beta squared. So if you enjoyed this video, kindly give it a thumb up, uh, comment, share, and like. God bless you.